everybody okay so in this video i am going okay hi everybody starting this over hi <laughs> in this video um i just want to apologize up front i am filming in a new house with new lighting with a new camera wearing an old lady moo moo and sitting in a pile of trash um so if this video is super crappy i apologize i keep looking at the view the view, the view finder and i'm trying not to um i'm just in like a totally new location and i'm very like disoriented and i've never used a nice camera before but hopefully i feel like you guys can actually like see me for the first time and you guys are just like oh wow it's <laughs> not that pretty the other day my cat ran away and he just he got about five feet and he hid under the dumpster and just started screaming um that's how i feel <laughs> moving like really confuses me and i feel like i'm like a very compartmentalized person also where i'm like okay my boyfriend lives at his house and i live at my house and when i'm at my house i'm alone and when i'm at my boyfriend's house i'm with him but then i moved into my boyfriend's house and now i'm just very confused about how things are supposed to work and I, it's only been a couple days and I know it's gonna take time but I just feel so weird. So I'm going to be reviewing the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal and Boss Babe like a little book it says hustle hard on the Boss Babe side and is a party on the Party Animal side. Um, first impressions, I really, normally I think that Laura Lee's packaging looks kind of tacky, um, sorry, I'm just gonna say, I don't, her little, like, Laura Lee Los Angeles logo I really don't like, but I like this book, the feeling of it, I don't know what you would call this, it's not, like, car, it's very, like, smooth, um, it looks very sleek to me, I really like the metallic, I like when you open it up, there's still more stuff in there, um, so I think she did really good on the packaging, the price point is freaking amazing, because she, um, it was only $30 for two six pan, oh, there's a little, little ribbon, so you can pull it out, for two six pan eyeshadow palettes, which she normally charges, like, $42 for, like, a 10 um, pan eyeshadow palette so I think this is really good I like the idea of like the two looks that you can do with it the two like I guess events oh this is really cute I really like what she did with this um okay so I feel like she's stepping it up a little bit with her packaging I'm gonna say that just looking at what I saw online already I do not like love the colors a ton um I just like okay boss babe sure i you you guys know that i'm here for this love browns love neutrals this is everything and i'll insert some swatches here okay it's nice that you guys can actually see the swatches on this camera though right so okay i like they kind of follow like a chronological order a little bit well the last one is clocked out which i think is super cute um but let's see and she put the shades on the front which you guys know i love but this is on the grind um and it's just a really pretty kind of a warm champagne -y color this is deadline ceo nine to five I'm sorry, please ignore my dirty swatch fingers. Um, this is Hustler, which is like a really pretty gold color. And then this deep brown is clocked out. I will say that when... I will say that when I was um, swatching these, they do feel very creamy and the swatches were pretty smooth, pretty pigmented. Um, so let's see the second. Let me go back over here. Um... The second palette is Party Animal, and this is supposed to be, like, a going out palette. Um, this looks like a clown makeup palette to me. I don't know. I feel like I get what she was trying to do, or she was like, you guys want less neutral tones? Like, I'm going to give it to you. But this is, like, this is not what I think of when I think of going out. This is, like, what I think of when I think of a children's birthday party. I don't know, I just feel like she went a little too like cartoony with this, a little too like literal, like I just, is not what I think of when I think of going out. I would have preferred if she did maybe like 
a deeper like shimmery palette with maybe like one or two crazy shades but like what a honestly honestly who's wearing just all six of these shades I will say again these were super pigmented like that looks like I painted my arm with acrylic paint um but this like this is almost in the container it almost looks like a greeny yellow but it's definitely more of just a true yellow um it's it's a party damage control karaoke drinks bottoms up and again sticking with like the chronological order theme they did hungover i didn't feel like these were as creamy as the other one they were a little bit more powdery um but what can you do but i do think that for 30 dollars especially if you're like a very multi-dimensional makeup user or you just really like laura lee um or you're filming reviews like I am and you're paying for everything yourself. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal. I do think these shadows are good quality. I'm not crazy about the colors story, is that what you call it? Um, but you know. So I'm gonna do a little look with these. I feel like everyone's expecting me to do boss babe. So I feel like what I'm gonna do is surprise everyone and do party animals. So how do you like them cookies? Okay, so I put my eyebrows on, which I have to say has been like almost zero effort since I finished getting them microbladed. I just do like a couple in the center and they're just perfect. I've gone in with foundation. Um, you, you guys know, bronzer, blush, whatever. Um, I have saved the lips for later because I just don't know what this look is going to turn out like um and i don't know what kind of lipstick is going to go with it what would you even say is a transition shade in here you guys i'm gonna use both this this is impossible okay so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here oh my god okay this is one thing that really annoys me when palettes do this is when they don't put in a shade to set your eyeshadow primer or concealer with because you know I need it and I just I feel like you're just purposely disrespecting me if you don't put that in there so I'm going in with the Jeffree Star palette the shade parch just to set the concealer that I put on my eyes to prime them um okay and then I'm going to go from the Boss Babe palette and take this shade Deadline right here um and put that use that as my transition shade because there are no transition shades in that other palette okay, so this is really pretty pretty standard just like a warm light brown you know what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna do the boss bay palette on this eye and the party animal on the other eye because that's the only way i can do this okay so right now we are going in with a deadline using that as a transition shade on the boss babe eye and then i'm going to go in with this yellow shade it's it's a party for the transition shade on the other eye i've seen a lot of people god it's like lime green i don't this is, this is gonna be rough um but i've seen a lot of people using yellow as a transition shade and it looks really pretty on them okay should have should have cleaned off my brush a little more I actually think that's really pretty. Can you guys see that? I would maybe do that if I was going to like a music festival or something. Not that I've ever been to a music festival, but if I ever decided to, um, I'm just sitting here in like my old lady moo moo with all my trinkets around me and I'm like, if I ever did go to a music festival, I would wear this canary yellow eyeshadow and so i'm not i'm not selling anyone um okay so i'm just gonna keep doing that i think i have seen a lot of yellow eye looks lately and i really like them and i think i would do this maybe um okay so for the crease color <sighs> Okay, I'm going to go in with Dranks, this orangey shade on the Party Animal Eye. Okay, so I will say these shades, I mean, they're pretty blendable. The pigment on them is really nice. I know um, 
You guys know I love the Thirsty palette by Jeffree Star, but I will say the yellow shade in his palette, I feel like when I put it on, it kind of like instantly disappears, and this one is not doing that. It's, um, it's not going anywhere. So, that's a plus. Okay, let's see. On my Boss Babe eye, um, I think I'm just gonna do the least here, and I'm just gonna go in. Mm, no, I'm gonna go in with the 9 to 5, this warm shade here mm, I should not have done my foundation first by the way this is the Laura Geller foundation which I just found um I went to Ulta for a new foundation I actually have never bought anything from Laura Geller because I thought that she was the girl who plays Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I was like what does she know about makeup and um turns out that's a completely different that is Sarah Michelle Geller um and Laura Geller actually has really good makeup, so good to know. Next on the Boss Babe eye, I am going to... I think I'm going to do a cut crease, because why not? Okay, so I'm just going to go in with my Dermacol, and I am going to use that to cut out the crease here. You guys, I am so bad at cut creases. I really understand like the concept behind them, but for some reason, all of it just smudges together when I do it. Like I know you just take the concealer, you carve out the crease, and then you put, ugh, I was gonna say put mascara on top of it. You put, you guys are like, uh, I really don't think you understand the concept, Lauren. Then you just put, ugh. I'm telling you guys, moving has fucked me up. It's like destroyed my brain. Um, but you just put put eyeshadow on top of it once the concealer's dry, but for some reason, every time I do it, it just looks like a hot mess. Why is this my life? It just goes everywhere. It's in my eyelashes. Okay, we'll just have to carve out the crease again, but Oh, I <laughs> forgot what I was doing. Okay, so for the Boss Babe, I am going to go in with this dark brown shade, which you guys all know that I have been lusting after. And I'm just going to pack that into the outer corner. Ooh, that is pigment. Pigment. Okay. Then I am just going to go in with this... I'm gonna go in with this gold shade because why not I'm gonna use my finger okay that is so pretty can you guys see that um and I'm just going to tap that onto the okay I love this gold shade this is probably for me like the the stunner I guess of the palette I don't know why I'm trying to use all these all these slang terms Okay, so my camera just stopped recording for no reason. Um, it just notified me and said recording has stopped automatically. Because we just thought maybe that's what you wanted. Um, so I don't know what got cut out there. But I'm going in with this gold shade Hustler. And I'm just packing that under the lid. I just feel like the concealer like kind of eats the shade. Like it all gets just like muddy. I don't know how people make cut creases look so good. This looks disgusting like legitimately really gross okay this is the first and last time i will ever do a cut crease on my channel um this is not the eyeshadow palette's fault this is just i don't know why i chose to do it this way that's just gonna be this eye i'm gonna do the other eye now with the party animal palette and i guess i'll go in with this purple shade here on the outer corner because why not well, it's actually really pretty like if i was a different person i would I'd be more into that. Um, hmm. Then I'm going to go in with this light blue shade here. Damage control for the center. And then I'm going to take this pointy brush. And I'm going to go in with this hot pink shade here. Bottoms up. I mean, I will say these shades are just super pretty. But I am just like royally screwing this up. I'm going to take glucose from the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette and kind of put it in the inner corner because 
I think white looks really pretty on the inner corner if you're doing like a crazy look like this. I'm also going to go ahead while I'm here in the inner corner and take the boss babe and take on on the grind here and put this in my inner corner. Okay, I'm going to put on some eyeliner with this to try and kind of hide all the terrible things that have happened with my eyes here and I will be back. Okay, so these are the two different looks that I have been able to achieve. <laughs> I actually kind of like the party animal look better than the boss babe one which surprised me but I do think that this is a super cool palette um the crazy color I just I kind of wish you had done something else with that but you know what I do kind of like how it turned out and I never would have tried this stuff otherwise so I'm kind of like all right making people think out of the box I think the colorful shades are I was trying to show you my eyes but I just kept talking so I was like I kind of, I do think the colorful shades are really beautiful as well as the neutral shades. Um, I think for $30, this palette is, the packaging is super cute. The, you get mirrors with both palettes, you get good quality shadows, and you get 12 of them for $30, which is a lot cheaper than most companies. So I gave this a thumbs up. I'm sorry that this video was such a mess. I will never do a cut crease again, I promise. But this is, I mean, I really kind of like both of these looks, obviously not together. Um, I am going to go wash my face because I have stuff to do today and this is just not going to work. Um, but I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in and being patient because I'm a hot mess right now. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right.